Today I'm going to show you how you can sketch five architecture ideas in five minutes with Morfolio Tricks. Okay ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new video. Just before we dive into the video, can I please ask you a huge favor? Can you please smash the button, smash the, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. It'd probably be a good thing if I could say it properly for you guys. Just, just like the, like the, the video, thank you. This is a great start. I have previously covered the key features of Morfolio Trace and the basic tools and why I think it would be a great addition to your design workflow as an architecture student or as a fully qualified architect, if I can get there one day. So today I'm going to be covering the more complex and some really powerful tools that I think you guys will find really useful. Tools such as linking 3D models directly into Morfolio Trace setting up views that you can pan between and sketching over a 3D model using the perspective tool. I am then going to put my personal drawing and sketching skills as an architecture student to the challenge by challenging myself to do five sketches in five minutes. So without further ado, let's dive into the iPad. So feature number one that I'm going to be talking through is linking a 3D SketchUp model directly into Morfolio Trace. So whether this is a model that you've done on your PC or your laptop, the key thing is to make sure that you export it as an OBJ or an STL file. But one thing I would recommend is to use SketchUp on the iPad so you can really quickly and efficiently export the SketchUp model directly into Morfolio Trace. Okay, so there's two ways of linking a model. So like I've mentioned, if you've done it in Rhino, SketchUp or Revit or some kind of software on your PC or laptop, you can save it to the iCloud or OneDrive or however you want to store it. And in this case, if you've done a model externally, you can link it by clicking the 3D model tab and then finding the relevant STL or OBJ file. In the case where you've modeled something on the iPad, so if you've modeled something in SketchUp, there's a very, very quick and efficient way of linking this to Morfolio Trace. You can click the three kind of dots here, click export, so you get the options of the file type that you want to export. In the case of if you're exporting it from SketchUp in the iPad straight into Morfolio Trace, you want to use the USDZ file type. And when you click export, you get the option of exporting it directly into Morfolio Trace, which I think this is an absolute game changer. So if you click Morfolio Trace, you get this little green tick and bingo, you've got the model straight into Morfolio Trace linked straight away with no hassle at all. And then once you've got it in place, all you have to do then is flick between each view that you want to set up, position it to however you'd want it, click the green tick, and voila. And once you've got your model linked into Morfolio Trace, the next important step is setting up the views. So in any case where you wanted to add views or do a different view of the model, head over to here at the top left corner, click this cube here, and then click new view. And then you can set up a new position if you want to do something a little bit higher, click the green tick, and you've got another view set up. And so once you've got some views set up that you think are relevant to your project or that you want to explore in a drawing, once you've clicked a new view, click done in the, bot in the top right corner, and then you come into the kind of drawing space. And then once the views are set up, you can begin sketching over the top of the 3D model. So make sure you've got a new layer and a really, really cool tool that I spoke about previously in other videos is the perspective tool. So when you link in a model and when you set up a view like this, the perspective tool will automatically adjust to the perspective of the model and you've got your vanishing point over here that is automatically generated and all you have to do is make sure you're on the right layer set up and position the perspective view and you can start drawing and you can switch that layer on and off or you can switch off the model layer and then you've kind of got your drawing there in the background so now that i've outlined these tools and basically how you can really efficiently and quickly hop between views and produce really quick sketches over a 3d model i'm now going to put my personal drawings to the test i'm a little bit nervous for this because one minute sketches tend to be <laughs> not the nicest looking on my end i'm sure you guys do some amazing sketches in one minute but let's dive into it and challenge myself just before we start doing the drawings the project narrative of this project is key so the narrative is that there is a gallery slash community space that has a plot surrounded by existing buildings the project is required to have both public and private indoor and outdoor spaces and wants to encourage the public into the space. So I've already done an outline of the drawing. So I've outlined the existing buildings and I've also done a heavier outline for 
the kind of proposal that I've done as a massive model in SketchUp. Okay, so the time is on, so let's do it. So this drawing is going to explore the access and circulation of the people that can maybe make their way through here because of the division of the spaces, which means that maybe you've got a public space here, a public space here, and then a private space here, which means that as this form extends out here, you've got a public circulation that is kind of broken, which encourages people to come into this space and into this space. So therefore you can maybe have a more public space here that is open up to the community, a more public space here, which is also open up to the community with access into the spaces. And then maybe this is a more private space down here, which is the gallery, which is mad, which has access into the private spaces back here. And then you can add some more annotations and voila, that is a really, really quick, but powerful diagram. And then to zoom in and look at the kind of spatial arrangements, you could do a really quick drawing um, explaining what these spaces could be. So for example, timer on, if this is a main access into the building here because of the disruption of the flow of people, you could have a main access route through here and a main access route through here, which means that you could then have maybe a reception area here. You could maybe have a shop down here, which is obviously more public. You could then have a community space slash um, cafe here. And then finally down at the bottom here, you can have the gallery space, which means that you've got this main central point of access into these spaces, and then also direct views out into these public and private spaces out here. And this looking into the more private gardens because of it being the gallery space. And very quickly with the addition of some text and cleaning up the drawings, this is another one minute drawing produced to show some kind of spatial arrangement. And in elevation in this drawing, I'm going to try and show maybe shading. So maybe some kind of shading system which requires or utilizes maybe cantilevers or some kind of louver system. Um, so in one minute, let's do it. I wouldn't say that's my strongest one minute sketch, but you kind of get the principle of um, the kind of cantilevers and the kind of shading system very quickly using the tools down this left hand side. In this fourth sketch, I'm going to try to attempt to change some of the geometry and maybe test some of this access route into the building. So if we maybe extend this building out here, but instead of it coming straight out, we want it to kind of angle down here. And then over here, we want some cantilever because this is going to be the main entrance over here but at the main entrance we want some big glazing with the main access route in here there's obviously access around here and maybe step this back um, and so that you're kind of entering into this space and maybe you've got some kind of Louvre system. This is going to be a really quick sketch. And then once again, you can add some more detail, add the colors. And finally, with this final drawing, I like this view looking down here. I'm going to be testing the geometry and form of the building. So one minute timer starts now. So if we extend this up here and this comes down there, and then maybe this is a piece over here. We then got this piece coming up and down there because these are extending out. And instead, maybe we want to divide this space and have this as like an open access area through the middle. So this could go through like so. So this space is divided. So then you've got main access routes through here. We don't want a line way that big. So we'll draw a line through. And then you've got some glazing here down here because this is the public spaces and the same down here and then once again you can add some more detail you can come back in add some more color some more arrows maybe make some notes and annotations but the principle is is within the one minute of sketching over this 3d model you can begin to really quickly 
do some diagrams that are going to be really useful for developing your proposal. So I don't think my drawings were too bad in the end. I think they could be a lot worse, but they could definitely be a lot, a lot better. But the point is, is to show how efficiently and quickly you can produce drawings based on a 3D model once you've got everything linked in and set up with your view set up. You can really quickly hop between each view and really do some quick sketches to help the development of your project. And that is going to be a wrap on today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different to what I'd normally do. I wouldn't normally kind of challenge myself to do sketches on video. Um, and that was, that was pretty intense. But if you did enjoy it, please smash the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Peace.